Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the Akiyam that are teaching this word. Shalom Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rukah Kodash. This is um, you know, a clip, and it's called Superheroes Without Special Effects Look Super Silly. You know, and it just made me think that Esau puts all these TV shows out there, you know, Superman and The Flash and all these type of things, showing um, you know, people with basically powers, you know. But he can only do it through his his Hollywood, through his um through his um productions and things like that, special effects. Whereas Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is gonna give the Israelites basically superpower, man. Because the Lord Yahweh Shai is gonna come back with superpower, man. And he's gonna give his his um his men, Lord's will, you know, and part of that number, you know, spiritual bodies, man. Like to do things that Basically, like the like the the comic books show you, man, Marvel comic books and stuff like that, you know. But it just uh, it just made me think that Esau, you know, was desperate for this kind of power, but he will never be able to attain it because it's not for him, man. So he can only show you through his his silly silly shows, man. But the clip is called "Superheroes Without Special Effects Look Super Silly," and let me just run this clip here. And maybe Clara Danvers is tougher than you think. <laughs> We're not going to win this today. Uh, maybe Cara Danvers is tougher than you think. Uh, We're not going to win this today. I mean, the fact is that, you know, the shows and that you watch these shows, they show you super superhero movies and stuff, whatever they're cool, man. But the fact is, Esau could never attain that, man. You know? But the Lord, once, the Lord had the Israelites on that level at one point anyway, like King David, man. He had basically power, man. You know? Let me read this. It says, Psalms 18 and 27. For thou wilt save the afflicted people, but will bring down high looks. For thou wilt light my candle. The Lord my power will enlighten my darkness. Actually, let me get to the point. Verse 29. For by thee have I ran through a troop. And by my power have I leaped over walls. So King David had the power to run through a troop, man. Run through many trained men. And you got to have, you know, power to do that, man. you got to have abilities to do that, basically. He's on, a, he's, on, he's, on a le he's on a super level, man, to be able to do things like that. And it says, by thee by, and by my power have I leaped over walls. Now show me a person now that can leap over walls, man. They can't do it. But, but through Yahab, Hashem, Yahab, Shai, the children of Israel, Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, we're going to have that power, Lord willing, man. Okay? And I'll jump to the next verse here. It says, um, that I wanted to read. Okay, this one here. He teacheth my hands to war, so that a bow of steel is broken by mine arms. So the Lord will teach your hands to war, man. He'll just pro put it in your spirit and you'll just know how to, you'll be able to leap. You'll be able to throw, throw um, you know, a variety of different kicks, punches and, you know, you know what I'm saying? You'd be able to take take on a hundred men, a thousand men. You know, so let me read that again. It says, He teaches my hands to war so that a bow of steel is broken by mine hands. So that a bow of steel is broken. The Lord will even give you the strength to break steel, man. All right? And that's the and Esau can't attain that. Esau wants that them kind of powers, but he'll never be able to get it. Because it's not for him, man. That's reserved for the children of Israel, man. Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Okay. Okay, um, Right, okay, let me read this one here. This is, um, okay, I'll read. Uh, okay, uh, Cause this, that's what the Lord's gonna do. He's gonna raise up the children of Israel and give us, you know, power, Lord willing. But Yahweh Shai, he's gonna come back with the ultimate power first of all, man. Cause Yahweh Shai is basically, he's basically Superman, man, pretty much. But like the real Superman, you know? All right, this is, um, uh, let me find it here. Bear with me. This is Joshua 23, the book of Joshua 23 and 10. It says, it says, One man of you shall chase a thousand, for the Lord your power, he it is that fighteth for you, as he hath promised you. So the scriptures say, One man of you shall chase a thousand, man. You know what I'm saying? So the Lord's going to put the spirit on brothers, man, in that day, you know, starting with our Lord first. The Lord's going to come back with all that power. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Yahweh Shai is going to come back with the chariots. And the scriptures say, shall not meet thee as a man. He's going to come back full superpower mode, man. 
you know? And it says, this scripture says, one man of you shall chase a thousand. So the Lord, the scriptures say, the least of you in that day shall be as David. You see? And David was a mighty man, man, you know, on the earth. So the Lord's going to put the spirit on these men to have the ability to, to basically destroy a whole troop, man. You know? Destroy a whole troop by, by the power of the Lord. Superpower, man, pretty much. Okay? Um... So it says, one man of you shall chase a thousand, for the Lord your power, he it is that fight for you, as he hath promised you. Okay? And the Lord is going to fight for us. He's doing it now. He's raising us up through the spirit of his, the word. Then he's going to give us physical power too, man, to exact vengeance on our enemies, man. But we got no, that's we got to wait for that. Okay? This is um, the book of Jeremiah 51 and 20. Jeremiah 51 and 20. It says, it says, Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war, for with thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. So the Lord said that the children of Israel, okay, namely the elect on this side, are the Lord's battle axe and weapons of war, man. It says, for with thee will I break in pieces the nations. So the Lord's going to give the power to his men to break the nations. So you've got to have super power to be coming up against armies, man. Okay, it says, for with thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. But you've got to have superpowers to be doing those, those kind of things, to destroy nations and to destroy kingdoms, to go through a whole troop of military men, like so-called mighty men of this time. The Lord's got to give you power to take on 2,000 men, 1,000 men. The Lord, Yahab, but it's the Lord, Yahab, Hashem, Yahab, Shai, Spirit, the Lord is going gonna, is gonna to bestow upon us, man. Because when Yahab, the Lord, Yahweh Shai comes, he's coming back to destroy the, the, na the, um, the nation's armies, man. And in Lord willing, he's going to give his elect some fun too. He's going to give us some, um, some, time, some um, fun time to get our hands on them too, man. Lord willing. But the point I was, I was making is that, I'll read this again. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. And that's what the Lord's going to do. He's going to give the power, the superpowers onto the children of Israel, man. Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man. See, so the point is Esau has these movies, the, the videos called superheroes without special effects look silly. Now they make these movies and stuff and, you know, they have to put all these effects in it to make it look, you know, like they're actually, you know, doing those kind of things, which they're not. It's trickery. But the Lord's actually going to give these men real power to do that, man. You know, he's going he's gonna to give a... That's coming in these times. They make these movies based on the scriptures anyway. Because what's coming, what's going to come in these times is the Lord's going to come back all powerful and he's going to give his men, his elect men, power as well, power as well, Lord willing, in these last days, man. Okay? So with that, I'm just going to say, but Esau ain't going to ever attain that. That's my point as well, man. That's another point as well. Esau ain't never getting that kind of power, man. His power is just, his trickery and his gun on the earth, man. That's his power, man. Okay? So with that, with that I'm just going to say, all praises to Yahweh Barashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Shalom to the Akiyam that are teaching this word. Shalom Yahweh, Barashem Yahweh Shai, Barashem Rakakwadash. Shalom.